What's up, y'all? Stayed on Mighty, a.k.a. the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. With some more words of wisdom, man. And some more motivation. For all men in transition, man. All men on the climb up. Listen. Once you turn 18 and older, understand that you got to check your mother and put her in her fucking place. Right? You have to check your mother and put her in her place. You got to tell her about herself from that point on. You got to tell her about herself from that point on. And I'm going to go into detail because really this is, you got to check your whole family. Once you feel like you're a man and you want to be respected as a man, you got to check all of them, especially the women in your family. Because you see, it's the women who will get beside themselves first. And, and it's not because they all just bad people. It's just because in our communities, they don't even understand when they be crossing the line because it ain't enough men around to check them, period, because they can't keep them in or they choose the wrong men. But if you choose the wrong man, that means you can't keep a man as well. And that's a lot of our mothers, right? A lot of our mothers, sisters, aunties, right? Nieces. So a lot of times they don't know when they crossing the line. So as a man, you got to tell them. Like, for instance, for instance, right? I, I started being rebellious in my mother's house since like 14 years old, man. Once, once her and her husband started really like drinking and getting on my nerves, you know, it ain't like that now. Like, my stepfather, he don't drink at all. And my mother drinks like on the weekends and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So... It's a limit to how much she's going to drink because my stepfather not drink with her no more. But it used to be real, real bad. Like, like they used to get drunk. I used to fight with my stepfather, go outside and say, see, now I want to beat somebody up. Now I want to rob somebody. It used to be like that, you know what I'm saying? My mom used to be drunk, come outside and be like, Julius, and be calling out for me. I'm sitting out with my friends. We chilling with some girls. My mom, drunk ass, coming outside, embarrassing me and all that. You feel me? And he used to try to apologize the next day. I used to be checking her, like, yo, listen, stop playing with me. Keep your little drunk dumbass in the house, right? Like, my stepfather used to be outside in front of the building or across the street because we had a liquor store right across the street from the building. Nigga used to be panhandling and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because he couldn't keep a job, but he kept wanting to drink. You feel me? Fast forward now, it ain't the same, you know what I'm saying? They, they're in a better place, but still. I used to have to check them. You got to check your mother. You got to tell her when she acting like a dickhead. For real, for real. You got to check your mother, man, when she out of pocket. And that's with everything. Like, a lot of us, a lot of us, we move out of our parents' house and we still allow our mothers to act like they are women. Because they ain't got no man. Or because they man... They men are wimps. You feel me? You feel me? You got to check your mother, man. You got to tell your mother, hey, listen, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. No, don't ask me again. You got to tell your mother, especially when it comes to your woman. You got to check your mother about your woman. If you know your mother is being extra, is she being disrespectful, making your woman feel uncomfortable and all that, you got to check your mother you gotta check her at the end of the day your mother gonna get mad at you she ain't going nowhere she ain't going nowhere but how your woman gonna respect you if you letting your mother or anybody else get out of pocket with her and she don't necessarily deserve it now if your girlfriend do some diggling stuff right and then your mother getting her behind about it cool but it's but even but it's still a limit to how far you let your mother go you were supposed to f facilitate that, for real, for real. Even when I was still living in my mother crib and I had my baby moms in there all the time, I come from a, I come from a harsh family. It's like, we'll, we'll tell you about yourself. We'll tell you you're doing bad. We'll tell you when you're being a bum. But at the same time, we'll offer our help to you, for real, for real. And my moms was like being hard on my baby moms. But one day, not even one day, a couple times she get drunk. And she just get real, real, real belligerent and disrespectful. And it's like, it's the weekend. She can't apply for no job today. 
And my mother would get real belligerent. And a couple times she made my baby mother cry. And I checked my moms over that. I'm like, yo, listen, you doing too much. She know what she got to do. I told her what she got to do. I told her what she got to do. And if she don't do it, she getting put out. It's as simple as that. Like, like I had to check. I had to check my moms. I had to check my moms in front of my baby mother. But on the other end, I checked my baby mother many, 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 many times in front of my mother, in front of my sister, in front of my nieces. Because my whole thing is this. I got a lot of women in my family. A lot of women be around me. A lot of strong personalities. Y'all are not going to forget that I am a man. And please be, please be advised and please understand that I am a man. I'm a stronger vessel. And for real, for real, I can end any one of y'all lives with my bare hands. For real, for real. So the fact that I'm even allowing y'all to argue with me is because I love y'all and I care about what y'all got to say. But you're not going to disrespect me. You're not. You got to check your mother. You got to check the women in your family. Period. Period. If they got men in their life that might be putting their hands on them and all of that, that's none of your business. Especially you, black man. That's none of your business. So let me tell you what's going to happen. Most times you do something to that man, you and that man to be beefing. One of y'all end up dead or you end up doing something to him. You go to jail, right? She'll visit you while you locked up and then go home to that same dude that's going upside the head. So for real, for real, unless she got like a restraining order and she really trying to get away from that dude and you could physically see it, allow her to get her head knocked in as many times as she needed to be knocked in. We don't come rescue them. She got the law on her side. She got the law on her side. If she not utilizing the law to her benefit to get away from that man, she like getting beat up. It's as simple as that, man. But yeah, you got to check your mother. You got to check your sisters. Older or younger, they need to understand that you are a man. You are a man and you will not tolerate the nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, my niece, Nene, Kendall, right? I remember I first came home from prison, right? I'm in my mother's house. She comes to visit. She comes to visit. We in my room. She talking about how she was getting her ass bust, right? On my bed while I was locked up. You know what I'm saying? Um, she says she was joking, but it's no way for me to prove if she was joking or not. But at the end of the day, I feel some type of way. I'm like, yo, listen, why are you even playing with me like that? You think that's something I want to hear? And my niece, you know, like she's a year younger than me. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm going to be 31 this year. She's going to turn 30 this year. You feel me? Once her mother died, my sister Tysha, rest in peace. My mother raised us until she, till she was about 14. My mother raised us together until she moved in with her dad or whatever, right? So really, she like my little sister. For real, for real. Now, I never was abusive to my niece besides, you know, like little boy stuff. Like, I remember we was in Catholic school. It was after school. I might have been like 10, 11 years old. We got into an argument. I punched her on top of her head. And then I think, I think when her mother was still alive, I think I might have, I think I might have stabbed her with a plastic fork or something. But other than that, I was never abusive to my niece, you know what I'm saying? So, so my niece never felt the threat of any violence I would bring her way over disrespect. Because it really wasn't even like that, like, like dysfunctional with me and her growing up. We would argue, but it was regular stuff. Like, we wasn't like beefing for real, for real. But I remember I'm telling her, like, yo, why are you playing with me talking about you having sex with dudes on my bed and all that while I was locked up? Like, why are you playing with me like that? And then it got heated. And then, you know what she said to me? She's like, hey, yo, suck my dick. Blah, say, blah, blah, say, blah. You know what I'm saying? I came home from jail. All the girls in New York were saying that now. You know what I'm saying? I just came home from prison. Mind you, my other niece, Aseta, who's a year older than me. They both like my sisters or whatever. And my mom's is there. I'm like, yo, who are you talking to? Like, are you stupid? I just came home from prison. Like, you think I'm going to tolerate that? You know what I'm saying? So we arguing, arguing. I'm like, yo, listen, 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 Nene. Tell me suck your dick again and I'm going to slap the shit out you. Straight facts. 
Straight facts. Say it again, I'm slapping fire out you right here in front of your grandmother and your cousin. Right now. Right now, I'm going to slap you, right? She started bringing her tone down a little bit, and she never said that to me again. So, therefore, I checked her, and she understood that, hey, with your big brother, it's certain, it's certain, it's certain thresholds that you cannot cross. It's very important to check the women in your family, you know what I'm saying? Like, no woman in my family throws a frank stand at me and they be throwing a frank stand at dudes. They be dating and all that other stuff. People they have issues with. I'm going to be straight official. I do not beat on women. The women in my family, the woman I'm dating, if she throw a frank at me, I'm liable to slap them in their face. For real, for real. After that, you get your boyfriend, whoever. Whoever, you know what I'm saying? I'm still your family. When them dudes leave you, I'm still the person who's going to protect you if it's a real situation. So don't disrespect me, you know what I'm saying? Just like just like any men in my family say that to me, right? I'm punching them in their face. I don't care how old they are. If you're old enough to say it, you're old enough to get that. But the main point of this is check the women in your family. Put them in their place. Now, I'm about to walk into this Piggly Wiggly and get some food because, you know what I'm saying, I'm about to have a little situation, come see me and all that. But um, like, share, comment, subscribe, peace.